My name's Marique and this is my wife. Cook Nasa. We don't actually have a name for the tiny house. It used to be the fun size tiny house, but he didn't like it, so. Yeah, we pretty much just call it tiny. Welcome to our house. Um, this is our living room. Um, happy to show you around today. I think we're probably one of the only tiny houses out there with a 55 inch TV. It's kind of ironic because we actually don't watch that much TV. Um, we also have our full sound system, this LG Blu-ray player. Um, I mounted it pretty high intentionally because I know I'm a tall guy. I'm actually six foot five. Uh, so I knew like as long as I had it at the door height or above the door height, I was going to be good and wasn't going to have to worry about it. I like to mount a lot of things in the tiny house just because it helps you free up space. So you're not using counter space or floor space on things that can easily hang on the wall and stay out of the way. I was actually really grateful that this bump out for the wheel well on this side was here. I didn't even think about that. And then when we got here and it was there, I was like, that is perfect. Like it's almost like a little table, I guess, for you know, all of our things for the entertainment system. I would have had to mount something otherwise. The mini split unit, it does heating and cooling for the house. It is um, very efficient. Uh, the house gets really cold really fast. The house gets really hot really fast, depending on which setting we have it on. So over here is our couch. It was a big thing for us to have a couch that was large enough for us to cuddle on and not feel like we were kind of jumbled up together. So we also do some storage space underneath of the couch. This is where my wife keeps all of her clothes that you would normally keep in like a chest of drawers. And so it still kind of serves that purpose of having a lot of seating space and also having a lot of storage space all at once. This is just pretty much how we stay organized and keep the uten uh, writing utensils and mail and all of the other types of paperwork that we need just to kind of keep the clutter off the countertops and making sure we're not having to shove things into drawers. If everyone is thinking alike, then somebody isn't thinking. It's a quote by um, George Patton. This was something that we kind of always came back to, to just remind ourselves that, you know, we're our own people. We make our own decisions in life. We don't have to live with debt. We don't have to go the traditional route. Like it's all about creating the lifestyle um, and the journey that we want for ourselves. We're originally from Kansas City, Missouri. Um, so that's why we have that because that's always home for us. <music> We basically needed geographic flexibility, but we wanted to be owners and, and not renting. Renting just felt like such a waste. And then whatever we were gonna own, we wanted it to have a future resale value or a future rental value. Our direction and our course can change in an instant. And um, we have the flexibility to kind of move with that. So this is the kitchen, um, my favorite room in the house. Uh, so going tiny was his idea and this was the only way that I was going tiny. We lived in a um, 1100 square foot loft downtown in Jacksonville, Florida. And so this was basically the size of the kitchen and I loved it. And um, I was always in there cooking and I'm like, listen, if we're gonna go tiny, I'm not sacrificing my kitchen. Like we can do anything else, but my kitchen is not going. Um, and we made sure that it was, there was plenty of counter space as you can see being able to like have this deep sink that way like we didn't feel like we needed to always like clean in a small space the bigger sink makes it not feel as cluttered we didn't actually see any display sinks or really any model sinks beforehand you know we really trusted our builders they did a great job yes. and um they just said hey we got we'll put a uh, nine inch stainless steel sink in there if that works for you guys we didn't really know what that meant but then when we got it we're like oh wow this is huge and we loved it and <laughs> that it was so big mm -hmm. so um, we have enough space to like keep some stuff stored in here. This is like my dry like pantry uh, Dry goods and stuff, but enough space also to sit down and like still be able to keep your feet here and eat and Chit chat and talk even though this is where I like to eat and he likes to eat on the couch We love potatoes in this household. So potatoes are always going in the oven So I guess we use it for that a lot. The stainless was one area where we we're like, you know what? That's where we're gonna kind of splurge it and get the top of the line product. I don't Typically buy too much stuff anyway because I don't want it to go bad So this is more than enough storage for stuff even though it's not full size And it's nice that we still also have like a little bit of storage place where we keep our waters because we're very picky about our waters It was super important for us to go with a really large window 
here in the kitchen mm -hmm. and we just thought like this is going to be the biggest window we wanted to bring in as much light as possible and also if we're ever having like a party outside and we've got like chairs set up and one of us is in here like cooking or getting something prepared you know having this window open you still feel like you're a, a, part, of a part of what's going on outside as well and you might be thinking my head is really close to this ceiling like it, it actually was by design so that was super important for us we we told our builders that you know we didn't really care how um how small the loft was upstairs where we sleep at i just absolutely didn't want to have to duck in the kitchen because that's something you're doing every day and um we were, whereas within the loft you're mainly laying down for the most part so they made sure that this was my height i got nervous a little bit during the build phase because it just seemed like it was tighter and i'm like you know this is unfinished once we get the you know, once we get it all finished, well, I still be in there like, you're, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. And it all worked out. Yeah. And so I have plenty of space yeah, to he just walk. Can't, he just can't get very excited. No, the no, no, no <laughs> jumping, but, uh, I can do a little tiptoe bounce, but that's yeah. about it. I've learned to be better about putting things away when I use them pretty quickly so that because in a smaller space, it does feel like, wow, I have five things on the countertop and it's like, Ooh, this is so messy. Like you put it away. The house cleans up really quick, but it gets dirty really quick. Yeah. We threw a party and then one of my really good friends came by. He went straight to the bathroom in the sink and cut the, the water on. He was like, Oh, like this works. We were yeah, like, uh... he just had this like childlike, <laughs> like fascination. Like when he flipped on the faucet and saw water come out of it, it was just like, wow, like this is a real house. Welcome to the bathroom. So in here we have our, um, stackable unit washer dryer um, then on this side we have our closet this is our main closet what we both use um, and then down here I uh, keep my shoes that was something that was hard for me to get rid of because like I collected shoes for some reason it's <laughs> shoes that I never wore actually so it was kind of ridiculous so this is our normal flushable toilet that we it works just like everybody else's in the traditional home um, and we had to have so love that this sink is designed this way to give us extra storage space under here. This is, I won't open this, this is where we keep our dirty clothes and like um, the rest of like our toilet paper and like paper goods and things like that. And like my hair products are also down here. And then over here we have our shower, 36 by 36. It is a full size shower. Because of the amount of time it takes for me to wash my hair, we actually ended up putting um, an extra vent in here because I, not exaggerating i can take up to three hours to wash my hair and like be in this space so i have to not only run both of these sometimes i'll crack the window if i'm feeling like okay it's getting a little too hot in here and i sometimes even go a length of um putting the vent on in the kitchen um so that i'm making sure like we are like recycling the air and like it's not getting too stuffy in here back on it it's just like we literally would buy stuff just to fill up space mm -hmm. you know just to to make our house look a certain way but it had no functional use it had no purpose and that just is like it's kind of crazy now looking back usually there's an intentional mindset behind mm -hmm. it like you're there's a goal you're after there's a certain lifestyle you're after there's a, a like a travel component like there's something you're looking to do and accomplish um you know to make so many sacrifices and to do this. So usually I feel like those people are like more engaged in the community or in, you know, just different activities and things like that and, and, and getting out there. Up top here is a second closet that we use for hanging storage as well. Usually we switch clothes out seasonally. So, you know, once winter rolls around, we'll pull all our heavy duty stuff down and pull all our light duty stuff up. Sometimes if you're on the go and there is something that you need to grab, we'll just throw a bar stool over here and then we can just step up and uh, pretty much grab what we need pretty easily from this. This actually goes the full length of the bathroom. So the same square footage that we have down here for closet, toilet, sink, shower, and um, washer dryer is the same square footage up there. So that thing actually goes in there pretty deep. Our ladder that we use for both our storage loft and our sleeping loft. Yeah, it's very sturdy. Um, 
very, very sturdy. I'm a heavy guy and I've never had once felt any bowl or bend or creak or anything like that in the ladder, but it pretty much just hooks up here so we can bring it, drop it down. And so these notches here are how we hang it when it's out of the way for storage. And then we went ahead and added these to make it really easy to use for the storage loft over here. Pretty much just hooks in to this um, ring I put in on this side. And then on this side, it just hangs on that bar. And then on the opposite side of the house, we actually each night will swing it this way and we can set it up there to go up in our sleeping loft and those hooks make it more sturdy. So no matter where this goes, it's not coming down off of there. So very sturdy, very heavy duty. Um, love these cast iron rails that they added to it as well. I always say it's one thing to sell a couch online, but it's another thing to like sell everything online at the same time. And so that was the hard part for me. But once everything was gone, moving into the house was pretty much a yeah. breeze outside of getting that king size mattress up yes. into the loft. Yeah. <laughs> so this is our sleeping loft. We actually managed to fit a king size bed up here. The way the pitch and the living room roof is mixed with that half wall, it created quite Ooh. a difficult journey. Oh my um, goodness. It literally took us like an hour <laughs> to least. get our mattress from down there yeah. up here. But we love it. And we wanted to stay with the king size bed just because we knew that the space was already going to be really small and really tight. And so we felt like, let's cover the entire thing up. Like we're not going to be moving around up here. We're not going to be working up here or really doing anything up here, but relaxing. So let's fill the whole space. Let's make it really cozy and really comfortable so that from that perspective, it kind of checks all those boxes. Yeah. We actually have outlets literally in every four corners of this um, little space up top here. So I can have my phone charging up here. He can has, have his over there. I have hit my head a couple of times. Um, sometimes I just forget, but it's only been like two or three times probably across the two to three years that we've been in the house. So, but I love the, the craftsmanship associated with this loft and, you know, just all of the different intricate design and the pattern. And it kind of almost looks like a butterfly to me. Oh, yeah. So I like that. It's really cool. A lot of people compliment it. A lot of people love it. Um, we talked about earlier how she has all of her folded underneath of the couch. And this is kind of my area. So every morning before I get out of bed, um, pretty much pick out my clothes and I'm throw it at me. That's what he does. He throws it at me. Well, if she's on the couch, it is kind of a fun <laughs> game to try to hit her with the clothes. But um, if you guys want to learn more about us, we are very active on social media. You can find us on Instagram at Tiny House Lifestyle. Um, you can find us on YouTube at Living Tiny with the Bushes. Yeah. So Instagram is yeah. tiny underscore house underscore lifestyle. And like she said, YouTube, Live in Tiny with the Bushes, where we talk all about our life and our 200 square foot tiny house, all about marriage and all about money. And we put a comical spin on yeah. everything we do. So all of our videos will make you laugh and you'll enjoy them and um, have a good time. So chat with us on social media. Join us. Um, we'd love to have you. Yeah. And thanks for watching.